What's going on YouTube? It is Saturday, September 8th, and it has been a very long time since I have been on my camera, talked to any of you guys. I feel like I have been keeping um, Instagram pretty up to date, but our life has just been super hectic since my competition, and I wanted to genuinely been, be able to kind of give you a, um, like, I guess, post-show, like everybody, you know, I couldn't wrap up my, my bikini series, but I honestly have never done this before, so I didn't really know what things were going to be like or what they were going to feel like. So aside from life just getting absolutely crazy, I wanted to be able to give you guys an honest like update. So with that being said, today marks exactly uh, eight weeks since my competition. I did a like physique update on Instagram on Thursday. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go check it out at Journey of Karma. Um, so I am sitting, my weight's definitely kind of been like up and down, but I'm about four or five pounds over stage weight, um, which I think is totally normal. I'm feeling a little bit more feminine. I was kind of feeling, um, it's kind of like bony and scrawny a little bit. So obviously with competition, you take that to the extreme. So, um, yeah, I am in my reverse diet. I'm currently, um, macro wise, if you guys have been following, I'm at 40 grams fat, 300 grams carbs and 150 grams protein. So sitting at an awesome food intake, which has been great. Um, some of those, uh, some of those carbs have been getting factored into my tequila. So that's definitely been awesome. We got my other half over there. Hello. <laughs> So we pretty much went from competition straight to like 10 or 12 days straight of food truck com or competition, food truck competitions, food truck events. And so that kept us super busy and um, exhausted and everything. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, I think we had some fun Snapchat stories, but um, yeah, summer is kind of winding down, so events are slowing down. Um, we have a few more, but now football season is starting. So overall, I just have been, like, Nick has been awesome with, um, just, like, reminding me to, like, enjoy life, and it's going to take a while for your body to adapt back into this life. Like, obviously, mentally, for 19 weeks, I was so on point, and so it was easy. You're like, oh, no, like, I'm not going to drink because I'm on prep. It was just kind of like this, I don't know, it was really... I don't want to say hard for me because I think I just had this goal in mind. Whereas now you're kind of like, oh, I get to live life. I'm eating more food. So like, yeah, I'll have that couple chips slash the bag goes missing. Grazer. <laughs> but anyways, I um, overall just want to kind of touch base and let you guys know. So like I said, my weight's kind of an up and down. I have noticed some like hormonal, sw uh, like, I don't know. Um, Meat sweats. Shut up. No, I have not. <laughs> I have not, um, but I have noticed, um, like, like you guys know, I have endometriosis, so I definitely have, um, I don't get my cycle or anything like that, but I've noticed, like, the, um, ups and downs of hormones, and I've watched that go up and down with my weight tracker also. Um, I also, aside from our food trailer, we've had a lot of family stuff going on the last few weeks, um, so emotionally, that definitely takes a toll on your body. Um, another reason why I've been MIA, just kind of trying to spend time with family. Um, I'm pretty open with you guys about everything, and I think it affects a lot of people. So um, unfortunately, my aunt lost a five-year battle with breast cancer. Um, it's my mom's sister. I am extremely, extremely close with my family. So uh, that has been hard. So if you do follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you kind of saw a switch in some of my posts, uh, posting more about family and like being with my mom and everything. So um, yeah, I kind of, aside from like wanting to wait to let you guys know how this is going, I needed to take time to myself and um, reevaluate a little bit where my mind was at. So I have been talking a lot about wanting to be more mindful in life and just a little bit more in the moment. And I think a lot of that stemmed from obviously the loss that we, that we experienced. So, um, yeah, trying to just take every day as a blessing. And I know it's hard to always live in the moment and all of that, but that is something that I'm working on right now. And other updates. What's going on? Um, you dub game. Yeah, you dub game today. So, um, clearly I didn't really prep for this video. I've 
I've been attempting to pick up the camera forever and update you guys, but our life hasn't stopped. Hence why we're in the car right now. We're on the way to a wedding shower and then going to a Husky game. So, um, I, yeah, I'm still tracking my macros. Uh, definitely being a little bit more, not like down to the gram necessarily. I am fitting in, um, drinks every now and then. I, we go out and we eat, um, I am trying not to consider things like cheat meals. I definitely look at them as free meals. Uh, I think one big thing that my mind has switched is I used to always think like if you overeat or if you're going to eat, I used to think like, okay, I've got to run or I've got to do hit or I've got to get rid of those calories before I consume them or after I've consumed them. Whereas now I look at it as like, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, we overate yesterday or I enjoyed a great meal. And I try and think of it as add those 2.5 pounds onto the bar or add that five pounds and push harder in your workout to use that food or that energy as fuel. So if you're somebody that struggles with mindset, which I am, I've struggled with, um, not necessarily like an eating disorder, but definitely with, um, bad eating habits and being super restrictive. So now I try and look at it as use that food as fuel, use it as energy, put it where you want it. So, you know, squeeze through those glutes if you're trying to grow and use that food, as a fuel source and as an energy source. So that's a little mindset that I have tried to push through because I'm not doing any cardio right now. Um, oh, another thing, we've gotten into hiking and um, trying to get a lot of our activity. Being on the lake. Yeah, being on the lake, water skiing, surfing, like just trying to get outside, be more active and not necessarily think of fitness and health as like you have to be in the gym, you have to push through this workout and probably lifting four or five days a week right now. Definitely listening to my body. Um, if I wake up and I'm supposed to have a leg day and I'm just not having it, I'm not going to, I've been switching it. So if I have this energy, if I had this huge free meal, hell I'm doing leg day and I'm using that. But otherwise, yeah, I'm just trying to listen to my body more, spend time with, with this man over here. I'm more. What? I'm a booger. <laughs> you guys don't know him and this is how you meet him. Um, but yes, I think that is everything for now. I am going to wrap up this series. I'm going to do, I think, one more just um, show day uh, tips, I guess. There's a lot that I learned that I think I briefly talked to you guys about, like peeing in a cup and weird things that I didn't know about. So I'll do like a first time competitors video, wrap up this bikini series, and then I am going to start a new series called Impress Yourself. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that's been a big focus for me. Um, it's easy to get sucked into what does society want you to look like? What does a, a boyfriend or a husband or somebody want you to look like or feel like or act? Um, a coach, um, a parent. So I want to definitely switch that focus. Uh, for myself, I've struggled with all of those in my life and so um switch that to impressing yourself and doing things for you hence a lot of the reason why i'm hiking and just getting outside because those are things that i missed during prep because you obviously didn't want to put out more energy than you necessarily needed to because let's be honest you're tired so um yeah, that's life right now. I, oh, update on what I'm planning on doing. I qualified for nationals, like I think I told you guys, but I will be waiting a year. So I'm fully going into improvement season. Um, we're gonna work up my, my macros so you guys know where I'm at now, which is incredible. I didn't get to 300 grams of carbs until last February, I think, was the first time I ever ate that. And I was, he gave me 300 grams of carbs one month post show, so. It just goes to show the time and effort I put in last year before my show really helped. It helped get that metabolism going. So now my body's not just like holding on to everything I'm eating. So slowly getting stronger in my lifts, uh, feeling great, feeling more like not so foggy brained. I mean, my, my brain's everywhere with everything we have going on in life. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to take the next few months and just uh, work on me, work on food, work on lifting, have fun with family and then we'll reevaluate like what show I'm thinking about, but not until probably like February and March would be when a potential next prep would start. So, I think that's everything. I think, that's, think so. Yeah. So I apologize for the, actually no, we're working on not saying I'm sorry. Mm -mm. It's thank you. Thank you. So instead thank of saying, yes, thank you for waiting patiently. Um, we work in a food trailer, so every time we're like 
delayed on things instead of saying sorry for waiting we try and say thank you for your patience so a little mindset to try and switch so thank you guys for sticking around my channel and subscribing i really appreciate it comment below with anything you want to see in this next series or anything you might want to know as like a first time bikini competitor because i will be recording that video i'll get more consistent he's going to be a part of more things so um yeah, we'll just kind of have the camera out. And that's going to be another thing with Impress Yourself. It's not going to necessarily be like lifts and it'll be a little bit of everything. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm excited. I appreciate you guys supporting me through this journey and through my prep and everything. It was, I didn't know what to expect. So now on to the next stage of life and let's do it. Thank you. Uh, like, subscribe. Oops. Let me know what you want to hear or see, and I will, yeah, see you guys in the next one. See ya. I don't know what it is, but I got that feeling. Waking up in this bed next to you, swear the room, yeah, got no ceiling. If we lay, let the day just pass us by. I might get to too much talking. I might have to tell you something. Damn. I like me better when I'm with you